From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Sponsored by Murray Roofing. Good morning, I'm Danielle Shank with your Morning Pulse for Thursday, June 13th, 2024. At least 22,000 Nebraskans and possibly more may have had their Medicaid coverage unlawfully terminated. That's according to a Lincoln-based advocacy group. Nebraska Appleseed has filed a lawsuit against the Department of Health and Human Services on behalf of a 23-year-old mother who lost her health insurance due to, quote, income exceeds standards. The lawsuit says due process requires adequate notice and this notice is too vague. This case is about ensuring that Nebraskans who are being terminated from Medicaid health coverage understand exactly why they are being terminated and that they have an opportunity to challenge that decision. The lawsuit is in its early stages. Anyone who believes they were wrongfully terminated can appeal. An update on nearly two dozen train cars that derailed near Union in Cass County around 4 p.m. Tuesday. The train cars carrying synthetic rubber material used in things like chewing gum leaked into a nearby creek. Union Pacific officials say it poses a low risk to the environment and barriers have been laid out to minimize its spread. They believe the derailment was caused by heat expanding the track. Happening now, the summer food service program is underway in Nebraska. Free meals are available to all children ages 1 to 18 at dozens of locations across the state. A number of camps and programs also offer free meals to enrolled children. To find locations near you, text FOOD to 304-304. If you're searching for a job opportunity, Lincoln Public Schools will host two interview days this summer. LPS is currently trying to fill about 150 open positions across the district. The first day of interviews starts at 10 this morning at the Scott Middle School Gym. The next opportunity for interviews is scheduled for July. When it comes to renting, there's no better place than Lincoln, at least according to Forbes. They cite metrics like a median monthly rent of over $1,200 and a high availability of rentals. The average monthly rent was just shy of two grand, but Lincoln's rent accounts for only 2.6% of income compared to the national average of 21.3%. Omaha came in second. The full report is on our website. Lastly, the Peregrine Falcons nesting atop the state capitol recently had chicks, the first since 2016. Yesterday, a team from the Game and Parks Commission gave the three chicks a checkup and tagged them for research. The commission expects them to fly away in the next few weeks, but before they do, you have a chance to name them. For details on the Game and Parks naming contest, visit our website. Rounding out your headlines is a check of the seven-day forecast. You've been listening to 1011's Morning Pulse. Watch, listen, stream on the 1011 Now app, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. Sponsored by Murray Roofing.